I'll be checking out um Chioe's collected miscellany and then I'll be doing her test run. So without further ado, let's check out her collected miscellany, which is practically a tutorial video on how to um how her gameplay is. So without further ado, let's jump right into the video. Thanks to people's appetite for new things, Chiori's arrival on the Fontaine fashion scene met with a warm welcome. Likewise, customers from all walks of life are welcome at Chioria Boutique, but satisfaction is not guaranteed. If you get too big for your boots, the chances are you'll be strongly encouraged to leave. <sighs> Let me guess. Need something tailor-made? Chiori is a versatile designer, able to work skillfully with any bladed instrument. This is reflected in her unique combat style, which combines a dual-wielding sword technique with the power of Geo, yep. helping her to iron out any issues that arise in the course of business. Is the Chiori only is a firm believer that dressing sharp moment. always helps people rise to the occasion. When Chiori is in the party, if any party member is wearing an outfit other than their default outfit, or a wind glider other than wings of first flight, your own party members will obtain the swift stride effect, which increases their movement speed. This talent does not take effect in domains, trounce domains, or the spiral abyss. Yeah, Chiori's you can see the clear difference between the uh, four sword strikes and two on some damage and to enemies. Them. Her charged attack consumes stamina and performs two swift slashes to her front, dealing physical damage. Yeah, I know that. When her elemental skill is tapped, Chiori dashes forward as smoothly as silk. Hold her elemental skill to enter aiming mode and adjust the direction of her dash. Yeah, that. When her dash ends, Chiori performs an okay. upward sweep. Okay. Her elemental skill kind of reminds me of um... nearby enemies. A less cool, defense. it's practically a less cool looking rapid side, slash. The automaton doll, Tomoto. Tomoto periodically slashes at nearby enemies, dealing AOE geo damage based on Chiori's attack and defense. Oh! While Tomoto so is active, if a geo construct is present nearby or if one is created, an additional Tomoto will be summoned to the active character's side. Oh! Up to one additional Tomoto may be summoned in this way. And the duration of each Tomoto is calculated independently. Ah, oh, so you can have after up to two Tomotos. The talent tailor -made, okay. For a short period after Chiori performs her elemental skill's upward sweep, tapping her elemental skill again will trigger the tapestry effect. Tapestry switches to your next party member and grants all of your own party members the seize the moment effect. Okay. When your active character's normal, charged, or plunging attack strikes an enemy, this effect causes Tomoto to execute a coordinated attack that deals AoE geo damage at the enemy's location. The number of coordinated attacks that can be triggered within a single duration of Seize the Moment is limited, and damage dealt in this way is considered elemental skill damage. Okay. If instead Chiori taps her normal attack after performing her elemental skills upward sweep, then the effect triggered is tailoring, which grants Chiori a geo infusion for a limited duration. Tailoring will also be triggered automatically after a short period. If Chiori remains on the field after performing her elemental skills upward sweep, but neither taps her elemental skill nor her normal attack. I am the cutting edge of fashion. With her okay. elemental burst, Chiori unsheathes her twin blades and slices with the clean cuts of a master tailor, dealing AoE geo damage based on her attack and defense. Okay. It takes a rare level of skill to improve upon the finest fabric, but Chiori always has a new element to add. After unlocking the talent, the finishing touch, when a nearby party member creates a geo construct, mm -hmm. Chiori will gain a geo damage bonus for a period of time. Eh? Chiori's first creation, Tomoto, has gone on to become an indispensable aid when fighting against her foes. Chiori's primary means of dealing with her enemies is her elemental skill, which eh? sends her dashing forward and summons Tomoto. Careful use of her elemental skill to trigger the effects of the talent Taylor made creates close knit cooperation between Tomoto and the active character for a seamless string of attacks. When so, in a way, right, she could also be an off field DPS, 
once you activated her elemental skill, which kind of reminds me of Yai Miko's elemental skill as well, where you just um, activate her elemental skill three times, then you just you can just swap to another character, and you let her elemental skill act as a support in attacking attacking your enemies kind of an item so sim similar concept so chiyoi is not just a a duo element kashin she also has a bit of a wee bit of a yai miko concept in her as well so okay and energy is full she brandishes her dual blades with the deft grace and pinpoint precision of a master tailor dealing aoe geo damage to enemies as she buttons up the battle but to be real, if you were up to me, I would rather her be a main DPS than a sub DPS. And looking from this um, video itself, she if you want to fully utilize uh, her, full, her full potential, she needs to be party with at least another Geo character. Which, which in this case is most likely Zhongli. But then again, this is just my observation i don't know how other people are gonna like do their team composition with um shiori and other but i have a feeling that like shiori is, is gonna be on the same team as Zhongli from the way i see it who will be, who will be the other two it will probably be it will probably is in, in a similar team comp as how navia does where um two geo characters and two pyro characters i might be wrong but that's just how I see it. Unfortunately, the Genshin team is is giving Shiori the Yoimiya treatment. Uh, and, uh, and I'll be frank, if it wasn't, wasn't for Nurule in the second half of the character banner, I would be pulling Shiori as of this very moment. But unfortunately, Nurule is the higher priority in my which character I want in my roster list. So it's kind of unfortunate. I'm pretty sure she will get a real one sometime later in the future, but probably at the uh, late in the next the next six months of um 2024 or maybe um next year. I don't know, man. But we'll, we'll, we'll see how we'll see how the situation goes. I have heard the term empire used to describe the world of fashion. A slight exaggeration, perhaps, but its use is not entirely unwarranted. Why? Every kingdom runs on its own rules, and those who enter its territory must make sure to respect the law of the land, whatever their private beliefs may be. What am I insinuating? Nothing. I'm merely musing about fashion in general. But it's hardly my area of expertise. If you want to know more, why not pay a visit to Chioria Boutique? It couldn't hurt. <laughs> and that's pretty much my reaction to Chiori's collected miscellany. So the next thing that I'm going to do right now is uh, we're doing a test run on her. Character description. After using her elemental skill, Chiori will summon Tamoto to attack opponents, dealing geo damage, and execute an upward sweep. For a short time after her upward sweep attack, one of the following effects may be triggered based on the next action. Tap her elemental skill to cause the next character to take the field. Oh, so you can change character. And have Tamo Tamoto execute coordinated attack for a duration. Tap her normal attack for her to gain geo infusion for a certain duration. So, you can either switch character or she gains geo infusion. While Tamoto persists, if any Geo Construct exists nearby or a Geo Construct is created, up to one additional Tamoto will be summoned. Shiori's Elemental Burst deals Geo damage to nearby opponents, yeah, which was already explained in the Collective Miscellany. Additional Elemental Ops will drop in the trial event, yeah, blah 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 blah. Oh, what was that? So as you can see, she's using her signature weapon, which is the Uraku Misugiri, which is uh, has a bonus stat effect of um, crit damage. Um, normal attack damage is increased by 16%, and elemental skill damage is increased by 24%. 
after a nearby active character deals zero damage, the aforementioned effects is increased by 100% for 15 seconds. Additionally, the wielder's defense is increased by 20%. So yeah, she, she's she's um based on scaling, but huh? She's using the golden four piece golden troop. Interesting. Because I'm I remember seeing some guides where she's recommended using the 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 heart of opulent dreams or the the four piece um, normal and charge attack set. So very interesting. Um constellation, let's have a look at it. The AoE of the automated door Tamoto summoned by fluttering Hasore um, is increased by 50%. Additionally, if there is a Chio party member other than Chiori, fluttering Hasore will trigger the following after the dash is completed. Summon an additional Tamoto. Only one additional Tamoto can exist at the same time, whether summoned by Chiori this way or through the presence of a Chio construct. Trigger the passive talent, the finishing touch. This effect requires you to f uh, whatever. Um, um, second constellation for ten seconds after using Kyoku Twin Blades. I believe this is the elemental burst. A simplified automaton doll Kinu will be summoned next to your active character every three seconds. Kinu will attack nearby opponent, dealing AOE geo damage equivalent to one hundred and seventy percent of Tamoto's damage. Damage dealt this way is considered elemental seal damage. Kinu will leave the field after one attack or after lasting three seconds. Increase the level of fluttering Hasode. I believe this is the uh, elemental skill. Constellation 4. For eight seconds after triggering either follow up effect of the passive talent tailor made, when your current active character's normal charge or plunging attack hits a nearby opponent, a simplified automated doll Kinu again will be summoned near this opponent. You can summon one Kinu every one second in this way, and after three Kinu may be summoned this way during each instance of Taylor made cease the moment or tailoring effect. The above effect can be triggered up to once every 15 seconds. Uh, Constellation 5 is um increase the level of her elemental burst. Constellation 6. After triggering a follow-up effect of the passive talent Taylor made, Shiori's own fluttering Hasode's CD is decreased by 12 seconds. Must unlock the passive telemate first. In addition, the damage dealt by Chiori's own normal attack is increased by an amount equal to 235% of her own defense. So this is the reason why um you should um her scaling is is more towards defense rather than uh, uh attack percent. Perform up to four attack, blah 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 blah. Fluttering Hasode dashes nimbly towards with skill or enter a um enter a mode. Tamoto will slash a nearby opponent at interval dealing AOEG damage based on Chiori's attack and defend. While active um yeah at the 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 collective missionary has already um explained about it. Twin Blade leave their shit as Chiori slides with the clean cuts of a master tailor. Dealing AoE geo damage based on her attack and defense. So let's, yeah, more percentage on the defense as you can see right over here. As for Taylor Mate, gain different effects depending on the next action you take within a short duration after using stuttering Hasode's upward sweep. So yeah, it's already explained earlier on. Tailoring Chiori gains Geo Infusion for 5 seconds. Okay. Uh, when a nearby party member, Chiori will gain 20% Geo damage bonus for 20 seconds. Yeah. I think that's pretty much it. So, yeah. If you notice the, the party composition, right? 2 Geo and 2 um, Pyro. It's a the similar concept as Navia's um, team composition. So, okay. I mean, her her designs are her design is very unique. Who says you have to use scissors to cut clothes? Leave those rigid rules behind. I much prefer using my own cutting tools. 
Yeah. Design, the design is very unique. It's nothing. I am the cutting edge of fashion. Okay. And I just realized. Yeah, it, it's it, I just stabbed the um Don't waste my time. Fire. I just stabbed the elemental skill again and it immediately swap to another character. Um May I continue the challenge again? But here's the thing. Uh but well, here's the biggest issue. She infused Geo. Uh, she if you tap her skill, and then when you attack using normal attacks, she's infused with Geo element for only five seconds. But her cooldown is, but her elemental skill cooldown is thirteen seconds, which was like ah. Uh... Unlike Kuching, where her Kuching. When she activates her elemental skill, her attack is infused with ele electro element for a short period of time, and her cooldown is ridiculously fast. But Shoei, on the other hand, right? Let's go, tomato. 16 seconds! <laughs> now it's back to physical. I am the cutting edge of fashion. Yes! I'm going in! <laughs> Oh. Oh. This is going to be tough. Yeah, because what's I Wait, I just realized. What happens if I hold? Still 15 seconds. And the worst spot is right. Uh, hold on a second. Does her elemental burst have any other after effects? Let me have a look. No. It does not have any other after effects. Oof. Kind of wish her elemental burst has um, an after effect of some kind. Yeah, it's purely based on her elemental skill. Yeah, even her constellation one is um fluttering Hasode. What about her Let's look at her constellation two again. Um A simplified automaton Don Kino will be summoned next to your active character every three seconds. Kino will attack nearby opponent dealing AOE geo damage. I and Kind of a lackluster? It's not. I'm going in. Huh? Submit. <laughs> Delicate as silk. Because you can oh she's only infused with dual damage for only five seconds. But her cooldown is about 60 seconds. Like I'm like, are you serious? Now she's back to 
<laughs> Give up. Race you. You're toast. Nice and spicy. Everybody stand back. Scrub this Scatter. Next customer. Yeah. It's really going to be difficult to follow her as a um, pure DPS. Hmm. Personally, it would be much better if her uh, elemental burst has an after effect of some kind. And not to mention, right, if you want to pilot her as a main, as a geo main um, DPS, I personally would prefer if her her geo damage, her geo damage infusion time is is longer, or at least half of uh, of the cooldown time. Which is like what eight seconds, but no, it had to be five seconds. It's kind of like, uh damn. I am kind of disappointed to be very frank. It's such a shame, man, because Chewie is such a cool character, but her kid is kind of a lackluster. It's kind of a lackluster to be real. Such a shame, man. Such a shame. Can she really done dirty on Chewy, man? And I'm kind of. This is sad. Whatever.